Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, woohoo! I want to talk about something wild on the internet. Now you probably heard about this already, but for those of you who haven't, boy you're in for a treat, okay? Skip it to the toilet, ladies and gentlemen. You know, every, you know, younger child has something they grow up with, okay? When I was growing up on YouTube, I had YouTube poops, I had angry video game nerd, I had, you know, the video game commentaries of Call of Duty, you know, I had, I had Fred, I had a lot of stuff that I could watch, all right? And as I grew older, okay, I put away childish things. And then, of course, time and time grew. Every kid has something that, uh, you know, the older generation doesn't understand, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to show you a clip of something that uh, is something that Gen Z is all about, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably one of the hottest, uh, you know, video series on YouTube right now. So I'm gonna hit play here, okay? This might this might assault you in the eye drums, uh, eyeballs, real quick. But re be ready, okay? Be ready for this one. What the heck is going on on you? On Ooh, I'm <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> I thought we were gonna take a poopy in there. No, ladies and gentlemen, you might be wondering. Damn, Muda, maybe like what? 300 people watch this. What are you showing? Nah, dog. 17 million views a month ago, ladies and gentlemen. Quite a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, to give you a bit of perspective, that's probably the biggest I've ever seen, like, any meme carry off in a long time, okay? You know, this is more than, like, some, like, big YouTubers Among Us videos, okay? FNAF videos. This is Skibbity Toilet, and it's taken over the entire internet. Now, of course, this is a uh, series run by a YouTuber known as De, De Fook Boom, okay? They got a bunch of symbols over there, all right? It seems like a password that you're putting in. First four episodes of Skibbity Toilet, AKA as Toilet in Ohio. <laughs> of course this comes from Ohio. Nobody's shocked by that one. And uh, of course I wanted to like look into this person's channel real quickly. And if you ever wanted to see how they got 20 million subscribers to show you the power of the Skibbity Toilet, okay? This person literally like shit themselves all the way to the top. You know, 1 million subscribers 2021, 5 million 2023 of May, 10 million June 2023, 20 million July 2023. This man might actually overtake Mr. Beast as one of the most subscribed YouTubers. And to be honest with you, if Skibbity Toilet takes over the entire platform, I'm completely okay with that, okay? So to understand, there's a lot of lore to this, but to give you a greater idea and to give you a greater perspective, we're gonna go all the way to Skibbity Toilet, uh, episode 50. This is number six trending for gaming. 11 million views six hours ago, okay? Six hours ago, I was playing Arkham Knight in bed. I woke up because I fixed my sleep schedule. This shit got 11 million subscribers overnight, okay? 134,000 comments, and YouTube's so high out of their mind, they think this shit is Warhammer 40K! It's not. It's not, Lois. It's not. <laughs> We're gonna hit play and watch some skibbity toilet. So, of course, you can see it's made of, like, Gary's Mod Assets and Source Filmmakers, and there's a massive explosion happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. The skibbity toilets are breathing fire. That's a larger toilet than usual. You've got people expert in kung in toilet plunger kung fu. You've got anti-air rockets going off. One thing that people often say is this is, like, really low quality. But it's not. Like, this is this is some effort put in by a source filmmaker visual artist. This is most definitely one or two people putting in, like, Avengers level, like, quality down for the average person to watch. It is what it is. You know, you could have simply had some TikTok singing meme, but this man's created an entire lore to follow around. That's the Titan TV man. You've got the skibbity toilet breathing fire, a battle of the literal gods themselves, ladies and gentlemen. And the TVs, they win. <laughs> Even if you're a channel that just yoinks this person's hard work and throws that shit onto like their own channel, you still get away with like 3.6 million views and whatnot. This is quite possibly one of the biggest view like factories I've ever seen in a while. And I think a lot of that has to do with like YouTube shorts. Like you can see Skibbity Toilet 49, 46, 6. This is probably shown up on like your grandma's YouTube shorts feed. A feed, you know, she's probably like flipping through like recipes 
and she literally sees like the skibbity toilet, like literally some dude screaming out of a toilet bowl. It might actually make your grandma have a heart palpitation, but that is the, that is the standard of TikTok and YouTube shorts. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, I've always been the one to say it. I think short form content is an AI attack on humanity. And this kind of proves it, okay? Like, this, this this is where we're at in terms of entertainment, especially for the kiddos. Now, again, I have no issue against it. Clearly, this might be mind-numbing content, but it is pretty harmless content. Like, no shit, Gen Z, Gen Alpha probably watches the hell out of the DJ Scout skibbity toilet, and they find that hilarious as hell. Now, you know you've actually taken off <laughs> in memedom culture when, believe it or not, there are Amazon merch lines about you. Imagine being like an NPC, a character for like Gary's Mod or like the Half-Life series, and like just years down the road, decades down the road, somebody has turned you into a $20 Titan Speaker Man plushie toy. And thank God there are no reviews, otherwise I would have imagined somebody had bought this shit, okay? This one says only nine left in stock. Don't believe it at all. This one actually has one five-star rating. No shot, dude. They actually got a review for this. Let me see this. Not a review. <laughs> Reviewed in Canada. Oh, god damn, dude. No, dude. I'm a Lego fanatic who's been building their set since I was 12, 13. That's like my nieces. Now as an adult, these sets are even more expensive and I can't afford to pay. Yeah, that actually is true. I bought my nieces like a Lego set. Dude, Harry Potter shit. Bro, you know how much Lego is fisting the wallets of, like, adults, dude? All for, like, little, like, plastic blocks? Get out of here! I have been looking for an interesting replica. When I saw this, I'm thinking I had to get it. A lot of fun building it. Overall, it's awesome product. I actually really find this to be the most wholesome review ever. This man could have bought literally any Lego set, but he instead choose to go, chose to go get the skibbity toilet. You know what? Actually, I might just buy these for my nieces, to be honest with you. They want a Lego set, they're getting the goddamn skibbity toilet. I actually wonder if they even know what the skibbity toilet is. Maybe they might be too old for that. We'll have to find out. <laughs> now, one could wonder what's going on in this world of Gmod Source Filmmaker. There's multiple different factions running around. And while there just seems to be a lot of chaos, this is episode 47 when Chainsaw, Skibbity Toilet, and the Camouflage Skibbity, skibbity Toilet came by. One thing you gotta understand is this shit is filled with lore, okay? There's actually multiple characters. You got the Skibbity Toilets, you've got the Cameraman, which are... Well, the Cameraman is the main protagonist, the POV, the man that, you know, is like kind of the Neo of the universe. Uh, it has been demonstrated in episode 48. It's scientific, so it's POV Cameraman Scientist that the POV cameraman is not a specific cameraman, okay, they're different ones, and he is not immortal. These episodes have consisted of clips from various cameraman's cameras, okay? The cameraman is whom we see the story unfold every time a different cameraman appears. It's like Kenny from South Park, you know? And then, of course, you've got the speaker men, okay? There's just them dancing. This is like the bigger boombox on Spider. <laughs> 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 oh man, <laughs> I don't know why that got me, <laughs> is this like a big boombox on spider legs, Jesus Christ. The speaker men are a collective army affiliated with the Alliance and are the deuter all deuteragonists of Skibbity Toilet. They first appeared in episode 24 and they've been in every episode since. And if you look at the Alliance as a term of cameraman, speaker man, and TV man, the fight against the evil skibbity toilets, all side have incredible attack and support feats, such as the TV men being able to stun or freeze skibbity toilets. The speaker men are able to kill a bunch of skibbity toilets with their sound. And the cameramen having high intelligence, proving that they made the electromagnetic parasite disabler. Yeah, if you ever wanted to know if there was lore to this, I'll give you something right now. I actually understand the lore to this. More than I ever understood the Lord of Slenderman or FNAF, okay? And those things are getting straight up movies. At this point, if Skibbity Toilet doesn't get a Bloomhouse Productions movie, I'm fucking rioting. I'm not even joking on that one. I'm serious. Now, because of the vast popularity of Skibbity Toilet, you've seen like at least an 11% gain in population for Gary's mod, okay? 
I will tell you right now, Gary's mod will never die. I will die physically and leave the realm before Gary's mod is actually dead and over with. Uh, Gary's mod, for those of you who don't know, is basically just uh, sort of an asset, like flip playing tool. Uh, just a sandbox, actually, is the best way to describe it. It's a sandbox tool for like source engine assets. So if you ever wanted to play around with Gary's mod or like, if you ever wanted to make like, you know, G-Man make sweet, sweet love to like scout from TF2, you've got the source filmmaker and Gary's mod for it. There's a lot of horror maps. There's a lot of wild shit on Gary's mod, actually. It's it's where you can play like 900 variants of like back rooms and have a great goddamn time with it. Now, of course, the other thing is the YouTube shorts algorithm. And I believe this is where the real cancer starts. You know, my YouTube shorts algorithm is so fucked up at this point that this is like GTA 5 content to me, okay? Just get ready for this one. So in this image, you're seeing Captain America make a jihad by sacrificing, like, dear Spider-Man. And yes, you know, you're going to be looking around, and if you're a GTA nut like me or GTA 5, a GTA online player... You're probably going to notice, oh shit, they're in the LSIA. This is what happens, Rockstar, when you don't release GTA 6. This is the <laughs> this is the final end of the content pool. So, of course, you see Spider-Deer coming in. And believe it or not, it's going, help me. But, of course, Spider-Deer runs off because what are you going to do? You're going to get some help. You're going to get help from Hulk, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, this is the one thing. Disney is so quick to hand out lawsuits and shit like that. Same with, like, Rockstar. And all of a sudden, nobody's batting an eye to this weird shit. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way Hulk is riding the deer. There's just no way anymore, man. Captain America got wiped, bro. Squad wipe right there. Jesus Christ. See, if this game actually had gore, that man would be like a million different pieces right there. And there it is. We rescued Spider-Deer, okay? I mean, kind of... I thought he was going to throw them around, but no, now they're eating asphalt. Congratulations. Aw, oh, dude, you got the Minecraft Squid Game and Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> oh, you got some Mr. Beast engagement there, too. Yeah, this is what happens when you leave YouTube shorts running around for your kids to consume day in and day out. But ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you learned something about the future of content. And, uh, you know, if you ever want some Skibbity Toilet magic on this channel, please let me know in the comment section below. We'll be proud to hook you up with some <clears throat> counseling and whatnot. That being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. Aye. <laughs>